Tate donning a thobe and reading Sada in a mosque is an insult to all women. Not just Muslim women. He has never me never meaningfully renounced his views on rape <laughs> or on women or on men who seek to control and abuse women. Yeah. Andrew Tate's conversion to Islam has divided Muslims. We're watching four conservative Muslims who support Andrew Tate's conversion to Islam review posts by more liberal Muslims who don't like Mr. Tate and all the support he's getting from their fellow Muslims. Just to kind of add to what Brother Hood was saying, we know that the Prophet Muhammad when people would come and they would accept Islam, we know the famous hadith of the Bedouin where he asked Rasulullah well, if I pray the five prayers, and you know, I do the five pillars while I enter into Jannah. And Rasulullah said, Yeah, that's fine. He made it easy for people to get into Islam. But we have these people that, you know, they don't just want him to accept Islam and offer salah and wear a thobe in the masjid. He has to also go back to every sin he's ever done in the past, compile a list, and you know, go down and have a public retraction. And that's no, it's, all, it's also only the sins that they believe to be our sins. Yeah, that's uh, it's it's very selective because a lot of the things that are sin or are wrong that he has done in his past, they have no problem with. You see, this is a clever marketing tool in Islam. Eternal life in heaven sounds good and all, but can you sweeten the deal in this life? If you bend the knee and submit to Allah, Allah wipes away all your past sins. When they say Muhammad made it easy, they mean that your past sins will not be held against you. So we'll give you an excuse to have everything questionable you have done in the past be ignored by a large population of gullible believers and in return you give us publicity. It is a simple give and take. The deal is even better when you consider that many of the questionable things that Tate has done are not even questionable by Islamic standards. Like a lot of these people for example don't have problem with smoking weed and getting high and drinking like they're either doing it themselves or de they're defending um muslim women and men doing it and posting it on instagram like they have no problem with that judge. you can can't judge. judge so andrew tate has done all those kinds of things as, as well they don't have a problem with with any of that it's just you know his quote unquote misogyny and, and what is the misogyny he just said that like men should have authority men especially in the in the family a man is a man and you know that's traditional masculinity we have to be strong men and we can't be these uh watered down soy boys of, of the modern uh gynocentric west that's all he's saying it's not particularly uh i mean it shouldn't be controversial but it clearly is because they're so addled with their feminism mm. These conservative Muslims are highlighting the fact that many liberal Muslims are very selective when they decide which sins of Tate to be angry about. And their selection seems to be more in line with what the modern world sees as problematic than the Islamic world. Seems to me that more and more Muslims are choosing liberal standards over Islamic ones. He said that women should bear some responsibility for being raped. This is their accusation against him. Probably what he said is that the Me Too movement is uh, overinflated and they're just accusing a whole bunch of people of rape and there's not enough evidence and it's not justifiable. But yeah, that is what he said. He clarified on that Pierce Morgan interview and he clarified something that didn't need clarification, basically saying that, look, if you're going to accuse someone, you need to have evidence. We're not just going to believe you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why are why are women suddenly the exception to this? believe all women um, yeah believe all women that's he criticized that so that means he's pro-rape i've been accused of being pro-rape too for s saying that look this is ridiculous like to have this kind of standard of believing everyone who brings a claim as if one gender doesn't know how to lie or doesn't ever lie for their own benefit yeah it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, illusion like it's beyond <clears throat> beyond insanity you know andrew tate has a point but there's a problem Many well-known people have made the same point and have not been censored for it. What's the difference? What Tate and these guys are failing to realize or admit is that what you say is not the only thing that matters. How you say it can make all the difference. If I tell you, don't go to this neighborhood, if you do, you can get stabbed. That is a fine warning. 
If you tell me in response, don't tell me not to go there, tell them not to stab, you're just being ridiculous. But if you do go to the neighborhood and you do get stabbed, then if I tell you that you bear responsibility for getting stabbed, then I am the one who's being ridiculous. Even though I'm technically saying the same thing as before. The same message can be expressed in helpful or hurtful ways. You keep talking about responsibility, but what about your responsibility to your audience? If what you say is technically true, but is expressed in a way that belittles women, who is responsible for that? Let's, let's analyze this for a second. Let's break it down. Slow down on the rape topic now, okay? <laughs> what if Andrew Tate is at the job? Interesting. Like Fourteen thousand wow. likes, bro. This is t very telling of where we are as a, yeah. like where some Muslims are. You know, this is ridiculous. This is foolish, bro. I don't even know. What this guy is. I don't even know who this guy is. Like the only way that you can oh, even is, is really hard. Look at him. Mush. Wow, bro. How can you even come to a uh, was it serious at least? I mean, is it serious <laughs> moment, or maybe he was joking? How is this even conceivable? Like, even if this was a joke, this is this is really this is this is stupid. It's pretty stupid, bro. Yeah, it's, it, it seems the like way, uh, the only way that this could even be a remote possibility is if you know the word Dajjal, but you have no idea what the meaning of that word is. <laughs> Everybody knows that yeah. Dajjal is a one-eyed person who is a false messiah who has supernatural powers. Who will claim to be God? Like this is like anybody that knows the job. Like this is what they know. So how is it? How can Andrew? It's just not possible. Oh yes, how ridiculous to think Andrew Tate is the Dajjal. We are the rational ones who know the true nature of the Dajjal. The Dajjal, according to Islam, is a one-eyed evil figure who, at the end of days, will come pretending to be the Messiah and raises the dead, goes to war with Jesus, and is aided by an army of devils and Jews. Oh yeah, that's what we believe in. So much more rational. Quote, in other clips, the British American kickboxer who poses with fast cars, guns, and portrays himself as a cigar smoking playboy talks about hitting and choking women, trashing their belongings, and stopping them from going out. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I mean, their love and hate is based off of something other than Islam. You know, they will continue to hate Andrew Tate despite the fact that he's accepted Islam because they don't like some stuff that he did in the past. Yeah. Oh, wow. You judge someone based on the unimportant standard of not beating women. Psh, obviously, what actually matters is if he has accepted Islam. How ridiculous. Hitting women. Who cares? Islam is all that matters. So these people, they believe that Allah's forgiveness is so, quote unquote, so vast that it encompasses people who died upon kufr and shirk and that oppress Muslims and that engage in colonialism. But it's not vast enough to accommodate Andrew Tate because he made some mistakes in the past. These conservative Muslims are complaining about the fact that many liberal Muslims think Allah would forgive unbelievers for their unbelief. But they would not forgive Tate for sins much more forgivable than unbelief. According to Islamic teachings, non-Muslims will burn in hell for eternity and that there will be no forgiveness for them. If you are an unbeliever, it doesn't matter how kind or charitable you are and how much you have done to make the world a better place. If you don't believe in Allah, his prophet and his book, you'll burn forever. To go to heaven, you must be a Muslim. And as a Muslim, you can get your sins forgiven if you repent. Once again, we see how religions who pretend to be the source of morality are in reality nothing but an excuse to pretend to be moral and yet excuse the worst behaviors. The frustration of these conservative Muslims is over how more liberal Muslims are using non-Islamic standards for their judgment. They are using more modern standards. Conservative Muslims pretend that Islam is the only force that can stand against the world liberal order, yet they admit that more and more Muslims are living liberal lives. Liberalism is winning. Your children will be more liberal than you, and their children will be more liberal than yours. Our ways are so apparently better, even religious people can see it. Keep trying to convince them that it is not so. You can only twist reality so much.
it will eventually snap back. If you want more people to abandon Islamic standards for liberal ones, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support this channel, please become a YouTube member or support me on Patreon, link in the description. I've been your host Armin Navabi, this has been The Secular Jihadist, see you in the next video.